Hello everybody and welcome to a new series of Timberborn, where we shall play with the Iron Teeth. That's right, we are finally gonna do the hard mode with the different faction, which are the Iron Teeth. And for the map, we are gonna go with the Waterfalls. Now I've taken a look at the map and it seems pretty, pretty interesting. It's a little bit smaller than Terraces, but at the same time, still very, very interesting and leaves a bit of room for creative solutions as well. So let's get this game started and I'm um, pretty excited to finally get this get this playthrough go going as well. There have been quite a few requests to uh, for me to give this a try and I've been waiting very long to, to really see what the Iron Teeth bring us. Now I, as I've said before as well, I, uh, one second, I have seen a few posts but I have not played uh, or done a run through with the Iron Teeth. So first of all, we are going to pause the game. And um, the map, let's let's try and go into one of those corners. It's quite uh, quite interesting. We've got some cliffs in the distance. Um, waterfall to the far right. We've got a f uh, four sets of ruins. One, two, three. And one on the left. And this river that runs through the middle. So I have not done a run on the hard difficulty yet. But I can imagine it's going to be pretty tough. And based on what I've previously seen on Reddit as well, some of those rounds do get pretty long. So let's uh, let's dive straight into it and, and let's see what the what sort of challenges the game brings us. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit worried that um, it's going to be a short, short playthrough. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do our best and see see what's going to happen. I think the first thing we are going to have to worry about is probably, well, water and food. I have noticed that the drought is probably going to hit us in the first 10 cycles, I think. No, 10 days. Right, so the first things we'll need, we are going to need some water, which we will do here. But I'm just going to pause it for a second. Now we have a road here. Then we are going to need a farm. I think... That should be an okay location for that. And then we are also going to need some logs. So we will set it up in this corner for the time being. I think we can do four. And then we are also going to need food. Okay, which can go there. Um, <laughs> right. Working hours, that's probably going to be one of the things we're going to raise straight away. And I'm very sorry, but we are going to have 20 hour long shifts. Now, when it comes to priorities, I think we are going to build you first, you second. And I think that's going to go in last. Okay, so in preparation for the droughts, the best thing to do uh, is going to be to have some dams. And... I have been looking at this map and the how things are set up here as well and the terrain and I was initially thinking of doing it right through the middle but um gonna change that we are gonna set it up right there and the reason for that is pretty simple actually we just wanna try and keep the most amount of water um, in front of our base or colony so that we can use it for our beavers. Okay, I'm... <laughs> Let's see, we will... You're not going to be the first thing we build. We want to get other things up first. Right, let's have four builders. And they're going to construct the lumber, lumberjack flags first. Once that is done, we shall move on to the farmhouse. Then the farmhouse... Let's just pause it for one more second. Uh, actually, never mind. We're going to cut all those trees. Then after that... The, this is going to be for carrots. Okay, that should be pretty good. We cannot plant them there. Okay, we've got a few of them up now, so that's good. Now what are you guys building now? You know what? We'll just pause you. I do want to get the farm going first. Okay, so that's getting built as well. What are you doing? Carries nothing. Okay, nice. Right, so the lumber is coming in slowly. We should be starting to build a farmhouse now. 
and then we can have a couple of beavers working in in the farmhouse so with the population we've got 11 beavers in total and that's uh, seven adults and four children uh, something lacks work is how come oh yeah we got only seven four are here and probably another three there um, next thing we need some water so after the farm is built please get us some water as well and we're just gonna speed up the time a little bit is anyone no nobody is Do you know what we're gonna keep it at two is anyone here yep we have one beaver that's gonna be harvesting blueberries beautiful and let's see so with the hard mode and the iron teeth as well it seems there's quite a few buildings that are slightly different from what would they call again the folktales so for example let me see if i can find something i think the storage is we are able to stack them the big ones when it comes to water let's see nope nothing here food is the same uh, metal same power Oh yeah, power. we get the engine, we don't have the windmills, which is pretty sad. And then the rest is, I mean, it's pretty much the, the same. I think the major differences that I quite like is the, is the um, with the water pumps, they can go six, uh, six levels down, whereas with the folktales, it was only two levels. So that's a, that's a nice, nice thing to have. Uh, oh yeah, the housing is different as well, and also how they, they breed. Uh, let me just get ourselves a few farmers and then yep we are good now are we building i think we are okay that's good we should be able to have enough time to get some water in this structure hopefully and they're planting carrots okay i almost forgot what i was talking about oh yeah the breeding so breeding is interesting in the folk tales all you needed was a house and some empty space now with the um yeah so they had a house empty space and then the magic happened boom next day you got baby beaver, beavers with the iron teeth it seems you need one of those breeding pods um i think uh, from what i understand these beavers are a bit of a uh, bit of a scientist they get some water get some blueberries mix it together x amount of days later and same thing you got some baby beavers so that's gonna be interesting i don't know if it's gonna make it any any easier or or difficult but i guess we'll we'll see all right um i think we are not gonna get some water yikes did we mess up how thirsty are you guys okay we should be able to survive we are gonna need a f what is it four or more logs in this building okay come on one more you can do it no oh well right so <laughs> looking at the future of this colony it seems we do not have well we kind of have a lot of trees but at the same time we don't uh, it's pretty limited here, so we should be rushing Forester. And to get to the Forester, let me see if I can I can find... Do, 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 do. We are going to need some science. So Inventor is most likely going to be the second thing we'll build here. Where should we do it though? Could put one here. Just going to pause you. We've got some more important mat matters first. Okay. Nice. So the water should be coming in now. Uh, next thing... Yep. Science. We are... You seem a little lazy. Okay, well, how about... Do you know what? It's fine. Take you out from here. And you're gonna help... No, yeah. Go and help these guys out. With the rest of the logs, we're gonna start building this dam here. Okay, let's unpause this again. And we'll also unpause a couple more lumberjacks. Let's see, one of the babies has grown up, but we got three more, so a couple of them could help us chop down the, the trees. Just to the north of our starting point. 
future plans wise how are we gonna do it we are gonna let's see we are gonna need some sort of industrial log pile oh yeah that's different as well oh, that's kind of cool okay we'll, we'll put one here and to be honest like right at the start i'm not too worried about the design decisions at least not too not too much we're just gonna plop them down Especially because they only need logs. Once we get the forest going, then uh, we can rearrange some of the buildings later on. And um, just in case that drought, I'm just really worried it might come very soon. I am going to queue up. I think we'll do three. So probably prioritize the first two and the third one. If we have enough time, we'll do it. No worries. Okay, we'll unpause the gatherer flag as well. I mean, we've got 99 berries, so it's pretty good. Let's just speed up the time. So we can go a little bit quicker. The carrots are almost all planted. But what we'll do is we'll set up a few more. How many? I don't know. Maybe something like that. That should do. Uh, I'd really like them to start building those dams as well, but we only have three builders. And it's night time again. Okay. Uh, let's just do a quick check. Yep, farm is running. We got carrots down. Water is pumping. One of the water tanks is now done as well. So that that is beautiful. And working hours is still 20. Good. Dam is nowhere. That's not very good. Uh, yeah. It's... um pretty bad uh, hopefully we'll have enough time uh, let's see what else do we need oh we are gonna need the inventor yeah you should be built very soon as well then what else how many lumberjacks do we have we've got two okay hmm yeah i think we'll get the f inventor up and then um we're gonna start getting some science points Let's just double check. How many points do we need? We need 60. Okay, so that's going to take quite a bit of time. Yeah, I think otherwise, once we get the inventor up and also at least one more water tank, we should be pretty good. As long as we can stock up some water. I don't know if we're going to get this dam done, but as long as we can fill up a few tanks. The first drought is, well, I mean, it should be the easiest, so... I'm hoping people will, uh, or the beavers, will survive that. Now, next thing we should really look at, which we neglected in our previous playthrough, because we didn't know how to check them for the bonuses, uh, is to, yeah, have um, maybe we can make our beavers a little bit better. So if we give them, let's see, first a house, which is comfort, uh, that's going to give their increase their life expectancy by 25% and make them also a little bit faster. Then what else can we do? Aesthetics, probably. Yeah, working speed and nutrition one, which is the carrots. Oh, 30%. How oh, much more time for the carrots? Only 35%, so another two and a half days, roughly. When it comes to houses, let's have a look. We've got access to barracks, and we could put... Let's see. We're just going to pause it for the time being. It takes 40 logs, so that's quite a bit. And let's speed up the time a little bit as well, so we can get a few of those things built quicker. Inventor next or the dam? Inventor. Yep. I guess we'll do the third one as well. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Now, food-wise... Ooh. We are... Food reserves are getting a little bit lower. Uh, what about one of those kids? When are you gonna grow up? Where are you? Come here. Three... Five. Okay, so... He's going to grow up pretty soon. Okay, we've got the inventor up and running. We just don't have anyone to, to work in there. That's okay. We should have a beaver grow up soon. May have to... Oh, actually. You guys are not doing anything. So how about one of you becomes a scientist and the other one can go and pick some berries. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't always run on three times speed. Yeah, maybe we have to go a little bit slower so we do remember and spot those things before. Alright, are you not able to reach this? You should be able to now. I'm putting the road over as well and we got some more berries in here. 
and also trees. Okay. Now we're in three times speed. Yes, we are. What are you building next? We've got the three tanks running now, so that's good. And let's see what we can do next. Maybe... Ooh, we should definitely start doing the breeding bots. One of them. I also want to give you a little bit of comfort. Maybe that should be our next priority. I'll have to check again. What was the comfort? It gives us... Oh yeah, 100% doing that one. Okay, day four. And we still haven't built a single dam. Don't think that's a good thing. How many builders do we have? We've got three. One unemployed. So why don't you jump in there? Help us out a little bit. Why are you all going around? That is that is not very smart. Why don't you just cut through? Like that. Good. Okay, a few more logs. Oh, we're out of logs. Do you know what? One less builder. We're gonna need some more lumberjacks. And we're almost through this, this area over here. There's not many trees left. Let's see. Carrots, 78%. Hmm. Really hope it's going to be done. Um, we'll also unpause... What is this? The little small warehouse. And this is going to be mainly for carrots. Okay. We are going to need a few more flags. I think we can put them... Oh, yep, that's the, that's the alarm going on for, for the trout to be starting soon. And, um, well, you look at that, that's our dam. <clears throat> I don't know how convinced uh, you are about us surviving this playthrough, but I think it's going to be interesting. Well, let's see how it goes. Maybe, maybe not all is over yet. Right, so a second thing we want to do is let's uh, give them more areas for cutting down trees. I think all of you can go. And just in case we can't get the forester soon enough, I will unmark a few of them. Okay, good. What are you guys building now? Uh, that's the breeding pod. Okay, cool. Once that is done, to the small warehouse. I mean, we might as well focus on the on the other things because this dam is not going to be ready. <sighs> oh well. Well, at least we have the house. And that's going to keep them alive a little for a little bit longer. And science is 24. So once we get to 60, then um, yeah, we can get the forester soon enough as well. That's exciting, isn't it? I mean, I'd prefer to have the dam over here, but hey, at least we're getting the forester soon. Uh, I think we can pause you. There's no one really spare right now. Yeah, it's just a couple more trees. Okay, so none, and let's give it to carrots. Yep, and now we can connect you up. So that's good. What else can we do? Uh, we have to plan out our lumber mills. And how are we going to do it? Hmm. Let's see. I think when it comes to warehouses, we're probably going to have a few more. So, something like that should be good. And then we can do the power wheel. Connect it this way. Lumber mill. We'll boss them for the time being, but that should be a pretty good idea. And then we'll do one more power wheel just behind. So in the future, we can run some more power through here. And the forester can just go in the corner somewhere there. Or maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's speed up the time. Uh, wait, we've got one unemployed. Why don't you become a lumberjack? 
Trolled wise. Oh, wait, we've got carrots. Never mind. Right, what do we need next? Do we have two farmers now? We do. So that's good. We're getting a harvest. Full harvest in. Before the drought comes here. Now, water wise, I think we should be fine. Berries. Oh yeah, we're going to have to store those berries somewhere too. So... Let's build another storage here. And we still should have... Yeah, we still got two builders here. Let's do one more. Just notice we have one unemployed person. And we also have one homeless, but... Yeah. Speed it up a little bit more. Let's see... Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them to prioritize harvesting carrots and not plant them. Because once the drought comes in, all this land is gonna turn into a desert. Desert, pretty much. So there's no, no real point in planting anything. Let's just try and harvest as many as we can and... Yeah. Oh, we do have one of those dams up now. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, let's turn this off, and we want to have berries. Beautiful. Let's connect it up with the road. Like so. And now we can stock up on some berries for the, for the rainy or not so rainy days. Okay, you guys are still building the dam. I don't think they know that the drought is going to be here in an hour or day, I mean. Um, yeah, sorry guys. Probably no point building this right now. Uh, is there anything else you might want to build? Well, we got 60 science point, points almost. That means we might want to... Oh, the beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being of 5. Interesting. Comfort, nutrition. Okay. Awesome. Alright, and there is 60 points over there. We can unlock the forester. Now, the question is where to place this? Uh, this side is going to be more for farming, I suppose. So, I think with the forester, it would have been good to put it there. But this should be fine. Yeah, we're going to do this here. Now, we are going to need some planks, but this means we have to build the power wheel, which they are already doing. And then we're also going to need the lumber mill. So maybe you guys can focus. Yeah, let's focus on that one first and then this. And here comes the drought. Oh no. All our precious water is going to be gone. Well, that means we don't really need anyone pumping water here, but... Uh, and it's, uh, well, four days. I guess that isn't the worst. But... Yeah... Probably gonna survive this, hopefully, fingers crossed. But I guess we're, we're gonna see uh, what happens in the in the next episode because the time's up for this one. So thank you very much for joining in, and I do hope to see you again.